I know Craig said to rent an old car. Just hope this thing starts. It's the same car. It's her. I'm here. We have to wait. All right, I'm waiting. Nancy, honey, please sit down. Mrs. Hughes doesn't go into court with the videotape as evidence. And, um, we have one other point. Yes. We would like Mr. Hughes to be responsible for the funds that he took from their account for his indiscretion. It was their joint account. We have the exact amount, Mr. Fisher. Hmm. Mrs. McCall. I don't know what your availability is, but would you have any interest in doing some investigative work for us here from time to time? Oh, oh, oh Mr. Fisher. <laughs> That's really nice of you. It is, but she, I was only helping out my sister. I mean, I'm not a... I don't have a bit of experience with this kind of thing. Really? Well, I like the way you think. I thought you did a very good job in there. I really did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why don't you... Uh, Give it some thought and uh, give me a call. Here. Okay, what about this? Should I take that back to school? Yeah. Is that mine? No. Hey, so, I'm just going to say this one last time about you and Brad. Honey, um, <laughs> you're 18. I just don't want you to be in such a rush. We're not in a rush. We just want to be married. I don't know. I look at you and Daddy, and no, I, I just don't look at us. That's different. <laughs> We're different. I mean, when I met Daddy, he, he was just out of the service and about to go in the force, and I thought it was a miracle he even wanted me. Uh, Mom, you always shortchange yourself. Oh. You do. It's just that he was this worldly man, this well-traveled, gorgeous man. <sighs> Honey, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I never had the chance to explore. Mom, I am different than you. I will continue my education. I know I will. I know you say that, but life has a way of getting in the way. Mom. Well, I'm sorry you feel that you got caught up in us. Oh, no, sweetie. I did, but it's what I wanted. I mean, my life has been very full, very happy. So are you going to take that job? Hmm? Oh, I hadn't really thought about it. God, Mom, why not? The lawyer was on the other side. He must have really been impressed. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Brett's waiting. I know. Um, sweetie, I just want you to think about what I said carefully. <laughs> okay, I will. And you think about it, too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. I love you, too. Well, I don't know. I think you might lay off her a little bit. Hey, you asked my opinion, so I'm telling you. What, you want her to get married? Well, no, not particularly. I just don't know how much we should get involved. I was just expressing my opinion. Yeah, over and over and over and over again. I mean, there's a fine line between...
between... Hey, did you call this guy? Hmm? Not yet. What do you... You mean you intend to? Yeah, I thought I would. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, babe. Yeah, the man paid you a compliment, but... But what? But... He likes the way I think, and... You know, I think I'm good. Yeah, yes. I, I mean, what's the worst that can happen here? I fail? No, I mean... <laughs> You don't think I can do it, do you? Research I want you to do. Okay. Uh, I think you'll find everything that you need at the uh, court records in the county clerk's office. Great. Oh, by the way, do you have uh, coffee? Oh yeah, thanks. I'm fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, also, uh, you'll find the uh, county tax files at the courthouse as well. I want you to check that too. Okay. This week's been about legwork mainly. You know, looking up addresses, records. Oh, uh, it's not like what they make it look like in the movies, is it? <laughs> in fact, it's pretty boring when you get right down to it. That's interesting, though. You remember that one I was telling you about, the, the client whose uh, wife was always going out of town on business trips? Yeah. Well, I followed her. You did? Yeah. She went to the airport, all right. The airport motel. Hello. Oh, um, yes, just a moment. Who's me? Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah. This is Delaney. Yes, uh, about your daughter, Sarah. So you do what Dad does, except you don't work for the police. Sort of. She's fine, people. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Cool. Well, not exactly spying. Right. It's more like gathering information. Goodbye. Who's on the phone? Linda Delaney. She's the uh, mother of that 15-year-old runaway girl. I was supposed to call her. Anyway, starting tomorrow, they have me down at the county center, sorting through piles of building leases. Every day? For the next two weeks, yeah. Well, looks like we're going to have to fend for ourselves, huh? Out. Thank you. <laughs> you got to admit, it is interesting work. Oh. And you're good at it. Thank you. You know, funny, I like really is an open book. I mean, whatever you've done is written down somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Dennis. Uh, meet uh, Tess McCall. She's the one that worked on your case. Uh, Hi. Dennis Bell. Nice to meet you. Excuse nice me one you. minute. So, welcome aboard. You've been here... Uh... Uh, a month, barely. You were my first case. Well, you did an extraordinary job. And my wife will think so, too, when she finds out what I know about the guy she's been seeing. Oh. Really, you did a great uh -huh. job. Thank you. Okay, here's the printout. Check the DMV. Right, that's right. And the uh, registered voters' listings. Nice to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> hey, have they said when you can cut back on hours? I didn't think this was going to be full time. Well, no, it's not supposed to be. But why would I cut back an hour? Well, I'm just saying, you know. I mean, you've got this place, you've got me, the kids. <laughs> Honey, hey, are you feeling neglected? Oh, not particularly. Well, what's he going to say? What are you saying? You want me to cut back? Well, no, I'm just saying that. I, I think that maybe it's getting a, it's getting to be a bit too much. You know, I mean, I'm gone all hours of the day and night, and, and, and now you are too? Oh, well, okay. I will. I'll, I'll just tell them I have to rethink my schedule. What am I going to do? Yeah, 
Sally Russell calling. Hello? Yes, I'm here. The Sally Russell? That's me. A friend gave me your name, Michelle Hess. I believe you did some work for her. Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, I was wondering if I might stop in. I'm sorry to call you at home, but um, I have a matter I'd like to discuss with you. You mean here? Now? Well, I'd really appreciate it. It's very personal, and I've been told you're very discreet. Can I tell you, I just love Sally Russell's table. I mean, I read every issue cover to cover. I get such great hints from it. I, I, I'm sorry, this isn't your brand. The commercial you do for me is so cute. <laughs> well, thank you. I do it because, um, you know, I use their product in my um, catering business. Um, Tess? Sit down. Oh! Sorry. No, no, no. I'm the one that should apologize for barging in like this. Um, but it's Jason, my husband. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, I met him in Rio. I was catering a party and he was there in a white dinner jacket. It was so, um, MGM. It was just like one of those old black and white movies. It sounds romantic. Oh, he was so handsome and... So Brazilian. I just love that accent. I could listen to it all night. But then I discovered that that wasn't his, the accent. And <laughs> that he was from St. Louis. No, no, no. I, I didn't think a thing of it. I mean, I do exactly the same thing. I pick up on the way people talk, you know. Anyway, we fell desperately in love and, well, we've been married for a year. Jason is, um, he's my business partner. Mm -hmm. And, um, he's younger than me. Oh, yes, I see. I mean, uh, he's very handsome. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's drop dead gorgeous. I think he's seeing another woman. I think. I was just wondering if... He might help me. Yeah, I saw her magazine on the checkout counter. It's, uh, she caters or hosts parties or yeah. something? Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I just admire her so much. I mean, what she's managed to create for herself. Well, I thought you told them you were cutting back. Well, this doesn't have anything to do with the firm. I'd be taking this on my own. On your own? Well, yeah. I talked to Mr. Fisher about it, and, and he said sure, um, because, I mean, I only work there part-time. No, slow, anyway. slow down, slow down, slow down. This is not what you've been saying, Tess. Now, this is not the kind of uh, legwork job that you've been talking about. I don't know. Do you? Do you know what you're taking on? For heaven's sakes, Craig. I mean, give me some credit. I give you plenty of credit. Then be happy for me. It's not as if we can't use the money. Sophie's in college, and before you know it, Josh will be there, too. I know, I know. I mean, I just thought you might appreciate the fact that I'm able to contribute financially. I appreciate it. I just want to make sure you keep some sort of perspective on all this. We're already I feel like I'm in a Calvin Klein commercial. <laughs> uh, this is my office. And this is his. But don't worry, he's not here today. Yes, I don't know if I can go through with this. It's like I'm already saying he's guilty. You told me you had a hunch. Mm -hmm. If you really do, you owe it to yourself to follow your own instincts. I have to tell you, though, if you open this door, you have to be prepared to walk through it. Mm -hmm. oh, I just want everything to be like it was in the beginning. I really don't know if I could survive without him. Then maybe you should think about this a little more. Mm hmm. 